Magic 8-Ball. Is Milton going to have a record-breaking year for price appreciation in Milton? Let's see. What does the Magic 8-Ball see for 2021 in Milton? Cannot predict now. Well, that is unhelpful. But you're in the right spot because this is Milton Market Minute and we're gonna go over all of the stats for December 2020 and 2020 in general for Milton Real Estate. I'm Shalini Enriquez with Remax Real Estate Center. I'm a local Milton realtor and community vlogger. And today's video is going over all of the Milton real estate stats from 2020 and also predictions for 2021. So if you're interested in Milton real estate, stick around because this video is for you. December was another strong month for Milton real estate. Our average price in December was $963,618. And that represents an almost 22% increase over the average price in 2019. With December's numbers coming in, we have our average year-to-date price for 2020 and Milton Homes on average were selling for $860,487 and that represents a 15% increase over the average price in 2019. We haven't seen a double digit price increase in Milton since 2017. So from 2016 to 2017, we jumped around 15% as well. So this was quite a significant year. Despite being in a pandemic where everyone sheltered in place in March and the slowdown that we had, Milton Real Estate really thrived this year and the prices just were going up and up and up. Home sales went up, albeit modestly, we see about a 9.6% increase in the number of homes sold. In 2020, we ended of the year 2,409 home sales in Milton. New listings in Milton were pretty much on par with what we saw in 2019. There were 3,250 new listings in 2019 and 3,144 new listings in 2020. So just below what we had seen the year before and that with really a two month stop in transacting. Like it was very slow there for a couple of months while everything was shut down. With 2020 behind us, lots of us really are happy to say, bye bye to 2020 and now we're here in 2021 we're two weeks in there's been a lot of things happening in the world today actually the government just announced a another shelter in place order here in the gta in ontario so real estate is still deemed essential so we'll still be moving forward albeit with all of those safety measures in place but so far what we've seen in prices in melton real estate are demand has not slowed down whatsoever historically Historically in January, there are less homes for sale. January is not a huge month for new listings coming on the market. But right now you have this environment where there is low inventory and demand is very high. Interest rates are very low right now. In fact, I read an article this week with one of the major banks offering an under 1% five-year mortgage, which is unheard of <laughs> really right so it's very inexpensive to borrow money a lot of these mortgage rates are really low and there's also low inventory and high demand and that's pushing the prices up and up and up in fact there was a home sale last night in milton on an end unit townhome where there was over 40 offers on the home so that's not sustainable going forward as we see more homes come on the market i'm sure that we should be able to see this cool down a bit as we get into spring but i do think that we will experience more more price growth in Milton in 2021. Remax Canada expects home prices to rise across Canada an average four to six percent. And generally in Milton over the last few years, we'd seen around a five to six percent increase in home value. So will 2021 find us back into that sort of normal increase or are we gonna see double digits again? Well, we'll need more inventory on the market, that's for sure. Interest rates are not gonna be going up. That's what most of the major banks are saying, at least for the next few years, we're gonna see interest rates remain low. So with interest rates remaining low, home ownership is still on top of a lot of Canadians' minds. And with the trend of people moving out of Toronto and leaving the city and moving out into GTA, we're definitely getting a lot lot of movement into Milton that way. 
And then there's folks in Milton that are leaving to move more country as well. So not just Milton's experiencing a lot of price growth, a lot of the GTA is. I actually had some clients this year that were looking to buy in Milton and they were priced out. The prices just had increased so rapidly. So luckily, you know, I do partner with a lot of agents around the GTA and I've been able to refer them to other agents that I trust that they can work with and help them find homes in other areas. So if Milton now doesn't seem like there's something you're going to be able to afford that you're going to be happy with in Milton, still reach out to me and I'll make sure that you get partnered with someone that will be able to help you that lives in the neighborhood and the area that you're looking for and that is very well versed in that neighborhood as well. I think that we're going to see price growth in Milton again for 2021. Will we get up to double digit price growth again this year? That is yet to be seen. If things continue as they are right now, the demand is especially high and inventory being so low and it is expected that inventory will remain relatively low so that with the low interest rates definitely forward pressure on prices so I definitely expect that prices will go up in 2021 I don't know if we'll get to double digits but I definitely expect prices to rise and as well inventory to remain relatively low that's why it's more important than ever that you partner with a local real estate agent if you are looking for a home in Milton don't hesitate to reach out to me. I will put links below for my buyer's guides and my seller's guides. And you can feel free to email me or give me a call if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week.